I'm Phil Lairness. Welcome to the bonus feature about me. Uh, you might know me as Dean Haglund's co-host on the weekly podcast show Chill Pack Hollywood Hour. Uh, you might also remember me as uh, quite a gifted uh, nine-year-old track athlete for the Cupertino Yearlings. But you probably know me best as the director of The Truth Is Out There because, after all, that's the film currently in your possession. You may not know that I've made uh, many other films. I've uh, made a bunch of uh, documentary short subjects about the, the, the behind the scenes. I've done some commercials. All right, I've made, uh, I've made other feature films. I made five feature films before Truth Is Out There. Uh, my, my most recent one before Truth Is Out There is this fictional documentary feature uh, called Carl Rove, I Love You. Uh, that's why I keep George Bush. George Bush was a prop in the film. <laughs> much like he was in the government. It uh, starred and was co-directed by Dan Butler, great actor, and uh, also features uh, appearance from Alec Baldwin. Very funny film. It's available on uh, DVD, wherever fine DVDs are sold. Oh, now there's a movie for you. I directed uh, the sci-fi ghost story Spectres, which also starred Dean Haglund and uh, focuses on the estranged relationship between a suicidal teenager and her workaholic mother. The mother was played by Star Trek The Next Generation's Marina Sirtis, and uh, the daughter is played by the lovely and talented Lauren Burkell. What else did I make, Lyle? What do you got there? Oh, that's right. Now, before doing uh, Spectres, I did a modern-day English-language remake of the softcore erotic French classic, The Story of O. My version was called Story of O, Untold Pleasures. It's not available anywhere in the US, never has been, probably never will be, but available everywhere else in the world. And this, this was the poster from the Japanese theatrical release, and it's my favorite artwork uh, from anywhere in the world associated with the film. Uh, they did very good work. And uh, wait a minute, look at me for a minute. Weren't, weren't you in the story of O, Untold Pleasures? I could swear, I, I heard your bio, you used to be an actor. I thought for sure you were... Before I did Story of O, Untold Pleasures, I did uh, a nutty little action caper comedy about a heist gone wrong called The Party Crashers. Uh, there's a poster uh, there for it. Live music, cocktails, and crime. The Party Crashers. It's a lot of fun. John Saxon, Shawnee Smith, attractively cast, uh, assuredly paced, technically resourceful. That's what Daily Variety said. Uh, of course, Film Threat said that I represented a new crisis in cinema and that I should learn my craft before I make any other movies. Um, and, uh, and this is all that exists of my first feature. Uh, it's actually really, really good, but unless you still watch VHS tapes and live in Brazil, I don't think you can uh, see the film. I don't even have a copy of this one. Are you sure you weren't in Story of O Untold Pleasures? An unromantic comedy uh, focusing on a loveless love triangle called Till Death Do Us Part. Very funny with winning performances and up and coming cast. Uh, shot, as was uh, The Party Crashers, by Oscar nominated cinematographer Matt LaBatique. Uh, it's really good. So that's, uh, that's who I am. Uh, are you sure that you weren't in Story of Untold Pleasures? 